This is a Civil War veteran's gravestone covered with lichen biologic growth on all sides. I'll show you an easy and quick method to remove the top layer of growth. This is Aaron Watkins' tombstone, the back side, the side. You can see that it's um, really covered thick with the lichens. I'm going to show you a trick today on getting them off without having to do a lot of scrubbing. We will scrub it later to get it absolutely perfectly white, but uh, we'll get the big stuff off in just a few seconds. It actually rained last night, so it's pretty, uh, pretty wet already. But I'm going to soak it some more with, with water so the, stuff, so the lichens get really soft and they'll come right off. I've already soaked this a couple times, so it's in pretty good shape. Going to take the sheetrock trowel, which is just uh, like a putty knife, plastic putty knife, and it won't hurt the stone. And just watch how the stuff will just peel right off. It's kind of gross. It's like a moss on a creek bed or something. Now it's not beautiful and white yet. That's what the follow-up uh, treatments will do. But this gets all the bulk off, so we don't have to scrub those later. And if they were dry, it would be a lot harder to get these off. Plus, you'd have to really scrub the stone, and that's not good working on a dry stone. So you get the side of it off here, and it'll just peel right down. If we tackled that, if we tried that just coming out here on a dry day and did that with a brush, that would take 10, 15 minutes to do that, and we did it in about a, about, uh, about a minute or two. The gravestone was then cleaned with D2 Biological Cleaner. Allowed to dry, this picture was taken a couple days later.